Hello everybody, my name is Inga. I'm one of the Sunday School leaders at St. Andrews, Calgary. Welcome to our Story Alive time. Today is a start of our Summer Sunday School and each week we'll be reading a story and doing an easy craft together. I wonder how you're feeling today. I wonder if you're feeling happy. Or maybe you're feeling a little bit sad. But one of the things that we know is that God loves us, whether we're feeling happy or sad. And today's story comes from the book of the Bible in Acts. It's called Sad Day, Happy Day, the story of Peter and Dorcas. This is a story from God's book, the Bible. It's for you and it's for me too. There's a little girl and she's looking in the mirror. She's got a happy face. Dorcas loved to sew things, then give them all away. Shirts and skirts and dresses, something lovely every day. Thank you for your goodness, dear Dorcas. We love you. We can see that you love Jesus. It shows in all you do. I see them feeling happy as she's giving them the clothes that she's made. But one day, something happened that made her friends so sad. Kind Dorcas put her things away for she was feeling bad. She climbed in bed and lay there. Friends gathered round and cried but instead of feeling better she grew worse and then she died we must hurry and tell peter he'll know just what to do and when they found him peter said okay i'll go with you just look what dorcas made for us friends gathered round to say but see, Peter sent them all outside, then went inside to pray. I can see the tears in their eyes. And taking Dorcas by the hand, he said, Get up, my friend. She looked at him. She sat up straight. She was alive again. Then sadness turned to gladness as friends began to say, Our God made Dorcas live again. Praise God. Happy day. I wonder if you know that God helps you when you're sad. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for helping us when we're feeling sad. Amen. So it's time for our craft. What we'll need for our craft today is a paper plate, some yarn. If you don't have yarn, you can use some string. And we need some tape and we need a pencil. Let's begin our craft. You take a paper plate and you draw a heart. And then you might need some help from your mums and dads as you poke using a pencil. Poke some holes all around the heart shape. Then you take some yarn and some tape and tape a little needle point around the end of the tape. Now you're ready to start sewing go in one hole and you come out of the other hole and you're going to create a heart with your yarn. Now you can secure the end of your yarn onto the back of the plate and you're going to start weaving in and out. So soon we can't start to see that we're making a beautiful patterned heart and as we sew we remember 
that Dorcas sewed for her friends, making beautiful clothes, and they saw how much she loved Jesus and that she had a heart full of love for everybody and it made them very happy. So now that our craft is all done, when we look at our heart, we can remember that God loves us when we're sad and when we're happy. God takes care of you and your family so that you can help others too. So I would like you to do something this week that's going to help other people. Maybe you could gather some of your clothes that don't fit you anymore and fold them up neatly and put them in a bag and give them to a shelter so other kids can wear them. Or maybe you can think of something else that would be really nice to do for one of your neighbors that'll put a big smile on their face. Or maybe you could tell somebody that Jesus loves them too. Have a great week. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week at our Story Alive time. Lots of love and lots of hugs from all of us. Bye now.